So yet again guys, we are back with another banger about Rockme. This girl just keeps on keeping on cheating. We have actually had a comment from her on one of our recent videos about her saying that it doesn't make sense that in some instances her aim doesn't look like aimbot but in others I claim it does. I actually mentioned in that video about toggle aimbot and I'm going to explain this to you now. Toggling aimbot on can be done in one single engagement. You can toggle it off and on so it keeps locking off and onto a specific point of an enemy allowing you to get them easy and cheap shots on. So a lot of cheaters won't just keep aimbot turned on for the duration of the gameplay. If they have some easy kills in amongst the earlier gameplay, they will just ride it out towards the end. When things get a little bit more intense and they're up against larger and better players, they tend to toggle their aimbot on. Or if they're getting outgunned or they get caught off guard, they will flick and switch and toggle that aimbot right on. I'm going to show you a compilation of clips now of Rockmas gameplay from Rebirth Island. Oh my god, I hate this f***ing... So do any of them clips look like aimbot to you guys? Maybe one or two, but nothing as blatant as what we've seen with her aim snapping within one frame onto an enemy. So she claims that how can she be cheating if in all of these moments it doesn't look like aimbot, but in one or two moments it does? Again, it's about toggle aimbot. And I'm going to break down a clip from this very video explaining why and showing the difference between aimbot being toggled on and all the clips you've just seen. Are you guys sick of dealing with the stress of Call of Duty? Try Supreme CBD. On a serious note though guys, Supreme CBD helps me get my head down at night. It genuinely helps me on my day-to-day -day activities with stress and anxiety. And not to mention now they have their new mushroom range. I chose Lion's Mane, which is to focus. It helps you get up in the morning and it helps you crack on with your day. If you ever feel lethargic, this is the thing for you. So guys, use code triple b40 at checkout to save 40 percent off your supreme cbd order the link is down below but anyway <laughs> let's get back into the video so this clip is extremely blatant very blatant in fact to the point it's identical to the snap that we pointed out in the first video on rockmer who is clearly using aimbot at this point let me show you why now so we'll play it all the way through then i'm gonna break it down
So it's pretty obvious that there was an aimbot snap in that clip, right? So a lot of a lot of people, a lot of comments in the first video were explaining how oh it's because of the way she landed, it looked like an aimbot snap. No, it was an aimbot snap, and this is a different clip to the original one, by the way. So this is from the gameplay that we showed all the clips from earlier on. Now comparing this to them, you would say that this was blatant aimbot, and the others could have been, maybe possibly been aim assist although i'm saying that they were not and i'm gonna explain why now so she tries to shoot here you can see her aim all over the place at this point and the aim snaps in one frame onto the enemy so what we did we slow it down for you so you can understand right watch her cross here throughout this now it goes up it goes down it shoots and misses because at this point i believe she does not have aimbot toggled on right she lands, so the landing's already happened, so that can't have caused the snap, right? It crosses all the way to the left, and at this point, I believe the you know the thought process is that this enemy is about to dip into that doorway on the right, so she needs to get that enemy killed ASAP. But it cross here, as she aims down sight, is to the left of the enemy until it snaps. Now that right there cannot be excused as aim assist. That literally snapped in one frame. And just to point out as well, let me just pull it back slightly before the snap. The time here is on 3.9, okay? Well, it goes from 3.8 to 3.7 in that one snap. Absolutely nothing has been clipped. There's no manipulation of the footage. Not on her video, not on this video. Her video is still active. This is her supposed world record in Rebirth Island. And all we see here is a painful and blatant aimbot snap. If anything, she actually puts Nadia to shame. I'm not going to lie. At this point, I believe that Rockmer has tried the whole Nadia routine, tried to get good and become, you know, famous through claiming to cheat, but actually cheating at the same time and being the best ever female Warzone pro girl, whatever, right? The reality is she is just another cheater, just like Nadia. And this snap here proves it that is blatant aimbot it doesn't get any clearer than that and that's identical snap to the one that we showed in the first video right literally identical again closed up how many of you guys have had that happen with your aim assist let me know in the comments below so this stuff's interesting to me because i actually like the process of explaining to rockma fans and rockma herself how i've actually been able to spot the difference all of the clips we showed originally in this video don't really show signs of aimbot snapping on however you can see that extra stickiness within her aim so that gives me reason to believe one of two things either a she's toggling aimbot on only at certain points or b she's actually using aimbot throughout and only at certain times if her aim is too far away from the enemy does it snap on the way it does in the clip you've just seen so it's one of those two things at this point and we've got another example to go through now to show you just how blatant it is and this demonstrates a moment in which she would toggle aim bottom because she's just been blindsided by an enemy take a look at this now so again guys we're going to watch this all the way through and then i will break it down at the end It feels mad reacting to Rebirth Island stuff again, by the way. So this is where we break it down now and we will do this throughout as well we'll go from the very beginning now we'll skip forward a little bit so she comes up onto the roof at this point okay now i'm not even talking about if she's using walls or not right she looked directly at this enemy and then turned away by the way so she goes up jumps up on here there's the enemy stood there by the way she decides to look away from him the enemy starts shooting here so at this moment she's in a position where if she doesn't toggle her aimbot on guess what she's probably gonna die she's got barely any plates left and then her health's about to start going as well so what does she do she jumps over and toggles her aimbot on and it snaps right onto the enemy right but this isn't even the biggest moment of it yes her aimbot is toggled on there but even as the enemy's downed and tries to like roll off the back her aim snaps down 
Now that's kind of strange to me. So when we slowed it down at this point, it actually shows it in a, a more clearer, clearer vision. So again, she gets shot here. As she jumps over to the left, she toggles her aim button. Bang. You have to remember she's jumping to the left. Her crosshair is like aimed at the floor and it just snaps up to the enemy perfectly. Right? Enemy goes down, her aim becomes free again. Like she's untoggled her aimbot. She then goes, okay, he's down. I'm going to finish him, toggle it back on. And her aim snaps off the enemy as the enemy's like crawled backwards and dipped down. Because what that does is it'll break the connection between the gun and the enemy where aimbot would have it locked on. And that's caused a snap off, showing where her true aim would be. These are very big telltale signs of aimbot in play. And this is just... Another moment where Rochma has decided to toggle her aimbot on and a very valid reason for that to be toggled on is that she was getting absolutely shit on at that point by the enemy and decided to toggle it on so that she didn't have to die. She was on 12 kills at this point, 34 up. She didn't want to lose that, did she, surely? Because she wanted to be able to go on to drop her 35 kill <coughs> world record in Rebirth Island. So I am definitely under the assumption at this point that Rockmet is 100% using aimbot. That's my own opinion. It's up to you guys to make your own. But based on this clip and the last one we saw, is there any doubt at this point? If any of you guys disagree with me, I would love to see why. Let me know in the comments below whether or not you believe Rockmet is using aimbot. Personally, I can't see any other reason for their aim to be snapping that way. If you're going to tell me it's a bug in the game, why isn't everything else bugging out when their aim snaps? Why isn't the timer bugging out under the minimap? Why isn't any of the visuals on the minimap bugging out and it's only her aim snapping? Nothing else. So this tells me that it's aimbot in play. Two very clear moments. And believe me when I say this, I could continue on. But I feel like that's enough to prove it. If you guys don't think it's enough, I'm going to use the second half of that video to show you exactly why it is. But I like to leave it open-ended. I want to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments below. So drop a comment and I will definitely read through them. If you did enjoy today's video, guys, smash that thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our future uploads. And if you want to contact me about a streamer who you believe is cheating, hit me up on Twitter at BadBoyBeeman. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side. Puh, puh, puh. Peace!